Welcome to Buy the Books, the podcast helping business owners navigate the complex world of business, tax, and bookkeeping. Now, to the owner and president of Secline, Lindsay Klein. Thanks for joining us, everyone. This is Lindsay Klein with Secline, honest, accurate bookkeeping performed on time. I'm here today with Jeffrey Gonzalez, and I remembered your name this time. Thank you. Our payroll guru. (laughs) <laughs> Good to be here again. Spelled with an S, of course. Yes. But not a G. Not a, a G. It's a J. Yeah. J- All right. We got it straight. Yeah. So we're talking about the most fun topic uh-huh. that there is. Yeah. 1099. 1099s. Which it is, as we're recording this, it's February 1st, mm-hmm. which means we are literally just as of today out of 1099 season. Mm-hmm. But for yeah. all those people that have not yet done it, you're late. But you still should do it. You are absolutely late, and you absolutely need to submit that as soon as possible. Today, Mm -hmm. actually. (laughs) Yes. Yes. Yeah, exactly. There is so much confusion about 1099s. We have to educate clients quite often on why they need to do it. Yeah. Um, And oftentimes when we present a list of who needs a 1099, they're questioning us. Yeah. Like, why do I need to send this person a 1099 or why should I send that? That's a company. I had a client tell me that the other day. Well, that's a company. We don't need to send a company 1099. He thought it was Are only. Are you sure about that? Yeah. <laughs> so I had to explain to him it's it's even companies yeah. need 1099s. Yeah. So exactly. correct me if I'm wrong, Jeffrey. Uh-huh. If you pay anyone, whether it's a company or an individual, more than $600 in a calendar year, the only exceptions to not sending them a 1099 is if they're a corporation, Mm -hmm. S Corp or C Corp, Mm -hmm. if you paid them with a credit card or a debit card, or isn't there another one? I'm trying to think. Is there another exception? If it's less than six hundred dollars, less than six hundred, yeah, credit card, debit card, or corporation. However, that's all I'm thinking of right now. However, how does CPA tell me that attorneys have to get a ten ninety nine no matter what? So I was going to say it's not always six hundred. So six hundred is the general, and in most cases it's going to be six hundred. But depending on what kind of form that you're required to to receive, um, like uh, like if you receive royalties, it's ten bucks. If you make more than Anything. ten dollars, you get. Okay, so I guess it depends on the type. Of so income. it really does depend on what okay. it is, but but the majority of the time, the people that we're working with, it's going to be six hundred. So is it your understanding about the credit card debit card thing, where the credit card company is sending the merchant card company is sending the ten ninety nine for that income that flows through the credit and debit cards? Yeah. So the business owner accepting the credit card does not need or or paying the credit card does not need to worry about sending that right yeah so they they don't need to worry about sending that however that's also one of those things that like talk to your merchant service provider have that conversation but there is a document there is documentation and forms that have to be sent by credit card providers um and reported to the irs and then you know obviously give a copy of that filing to the business owners so that they can now claim that as well okay so there's different types of 1099s there are there's several. Did you research this? I did. I did. So um, I we'll, knew you would, so I didn't. We'll say. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. We'll, we'll save the most popular ones for last. But there, there's one. There's so there's a 1099 INT, uh, and so that's going to be for interest is earned, uh, usually from banks, brokerages, firms, those kind of things. You a lot of people may receive those if you're yes. receiving interest gotten, from your bank. I yeah. found one. I think that had like two cents. Yeah. I was like, really? Yeah. Like it took more in postage yeah, to send me this to- than what I made. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, because if you, I mean, we all know that, uh, you know, because of interest rates and the way those are calculated, like, oh, if you have a savings not worth account, it. yeah, it's nothing. Yeah. Reinvest your money. If anybody's listening to that, take one thing from this: don't leave your money in a savings account. You're losing money with inflation alone. Right? Inflation is usually three well, percent. You make less than a percent in a savings account. You're sure. losing two percent. Okay, but if I only made two cents, I probably had like a dollar in it. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. I mean, two dollars maybe. Yeah, I was going to say it depends on the interest rate. So, uh, but but you got a ten ninety nine int for that yes, two cents. Yes, so, I did. Uh, so you probably filed that with a lot of pride. Uh, 
<laughs> it was such a pain in the butt because yeah. I do my own taxes and you got to enter oh, in. Oh, that's right. You got to yeah. enter in like the, the tax ID number and the address and all that. I'm like, for two cents. Like, it, I wish they would have just kept their two pennies. Yeah. Yeah. Next time I, I'm, I'm opting out of, <laughs> I'm opting interest. out of the interest payments. I don't want your interest payments. <laughs> Keep your interest. Yes. <laughs> I don't want to hassle with the 1099. It is my best interest that you keep your interest, okay? Yes, so, um, exactly. <laughs> but outside of the INT, so then there's the 1099 DIV, which is for dividends, um, usually paid to investors or corporations for owning their stock. I've gotten some of those that are pretty low too. Yeah, if you own, like you know, if you own um, companies the dividends that give dividends, they're yeah. only like two cents. Well, it depends on the company. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, but I mean, whatever your portion of it too. So. Uh, yeah, whatever you well, make, so you'll I'm get that. Well, I'm not money bags over here. So. Well, it, it depends. I mean, because you can also invest into stocks that don't offer dividends. Yeah. So just because you have stocks doesn't mean you're making dividends. Right. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Okay. So there's that. There's the 1099G. So 1099G stands for government. And that is because you have to pay taxes on wages that you receive from the government, usually uh, received from unemployment benefits. Oh, okay. So state unemployment. State unemployment. And I know a lot of people don't know that they're going to get taxed on that. I And, and a lot of people will opt out to um, opt out of withholding taxes on their unemployment because it gives you the option uh. when you fill it out. Um, I mean, I've, I've had to have this conversation more than once where it's like, no, yeah, that's taxable. <laughs> it's still income. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So you'll get the 1099G if you get that. Okay. All right. So then there's a 1099R. And so R stands for retirement, um, but it also works. So pensions, any type of retirement plan, uh, Would that IRAs. be if you cash out your 401k or mm -hmm. something like that? Yeah. That so, but only if they're taxable. Okay. Right. So depending on what kind of retirement plans you use, like Roth, right, those are already taxed. So. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah. that's good to know. So 1099R for that. I didn't that. know there was all these 1099s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, for the most part, like, you, you've, you've received two of them. I've received the dividends in the INT. Mm -hmm. I've never, I don't think I've ever gotten the retirement one. Yeah, yeah. Well, have you ever cashed out retirement that was taxable? Um... I think I've gotten forms where it was like a transfer, right? Mm -hmm. Transferring that's different. it to yeah. one to, to another. Yeah. But yeah, so that's probably why I haven't got the that. The point one. of transferring it is to avoid that. Right. To getting that 1099 right. at the end of the year that you have to pay taxes on. So, right. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, but this is good timing because a lot of those people probably um, were taking advantage of, of those types of uh, claiming those types of money over the pandemic, right? The government mm -hmm. like let you do some of that stuff. It might cause some additional complications when you file your taxes. Fun times. Yeah, super exciting. <laughs> um, and then, so the one after that is the 1099B. So Bs are uh, various transactions Bees. from Wait. a broker. B, B is ah, in Bravo. I was going to try to guess. What? Oh, yeah. Because I didn't know what the B Oh, okay. Yeah, let's do that. I, I won't no. tell you what the next one is. So that one's for brokers. Um, so sales stocks, mean? commodities, sales, basically making money from the sale your investments. Of yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh. you have to pay taxes on everything. No, I knew you had to pay taxes on that, but I guess I didn't realize that brokers sent a 1099 for that. Yeah. And is it over a certain threshold, or do you know? You know what? I don't know off the top of my head. I don't want to misspeak on that one. Okay. Yeah. I'm not a broker, but... Okay. Uh, but, I mean, I'm sure it's a quick Google search, but So yeah. why can't the IRS just combine this into one form? Moving on. Uh, no. <laughs> Uh, no, because the IRS... I love how you're speaking on behalf of the IRS. Yeah, no, I, I don't know. I like to assume, I like to assume, in my head, there's a group of people <laughs> sitting at a very large old wooden table uh, you Why know, in, in wa Washington, D.C. What if it's glass? No, it's wooden. It's wooden. It's the same table from the 70s. Have you been to government office? They don't update things. Like... <laughs> Okay, <laughs> the so table. they're sitting at this wooden yeah. table. They're sitting at this wooden table, and they just, they, they sit there, and they twirl their thumbs, and they make that evil laugh, and like, ha, 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 how are we going to screw with people this year? <laughs> um, and so one of the things that they came up with a couple of years ago was to have eight different 1099s. <laughs> well, actually, seven different 1099s. So, and then in 2020, they decided to add another one. Of course. Yeah. So is this the same group of people sitting at the same table that decided that the mileage deduction would be 55 and a half yes. cents? Yes. Yes, those are the people. And that yep. you could avoid your retirement penalties uh, at 59 and a half mm -hmm. years old. And that you have to start taking required distributions at 70 and, and a, a half. half. 
Yeah. Right. Okay. Exactly. So it's that yeah. same people. It, it, they're all the they're same evil. people. They yeah. are evil. Yeah. They're just sitting there twirling their thumbs, <laughs> petting a hairless cat. Yeah. <laughs> you you get yeah, you, you get where I'm going here. So um that's what's happening there. So they came up with all of these rules. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm glad now, we know. I hope you. Th- I okay. hope that's the picture you conjure yeah. up every yes. time you think of the IRS. Yes, now, of course. All right. So 1099 S. <laughs> what is that for? Oh, S. Hmm. S. 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 Is that? I don't know. What would S stand for? It stands. Substitute. It's for substitute teachers specifically for them, <laughs> so they get their <laughs> own. <laughs> I don't know. What does it stand Only for? Only subs, though. Not not <laughs> like teachers that, you know, no. like are assigned to classes. I don't know what they're called. I don't want to say regular teachers, but, you know, <laughs> teachers that have a permanent assignment. Right. But only the it's substitutes. Only the, okay. Exactly. Cool. No. And they get taxed at a higher rate, if you didn't know. Uh, but anyway, um, S stands for sale. Um, specifically sales of real estate, sales oh. of land, residential, condominiums, industrial buildings, all real estate related, 1099 S. Hmm. Interesting. Who yeah. knew? Because you uh. would think that would be a 1099 R E. Right? <laughs> Wouldn't that make sense? Real estate R E. Again, they're oh, twirling their thumbs. Right. They're going, evil. ha ha ha. Yeah. Yes, okay. yes. So, no, yeah, okay. we, we got to keep it complicated. I mean, because why wouldn't sale apply to the sale of stocks and the sale of anything else that we 1099? It should be R E. Anyway. Write a letter to your local I congressman, your local will. state representative. Oh, I gotta tell you something because I gotta go on my side tangents, you know. <laughs> you wanna go now? Uh, yes. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So you bring up congressmen. Hopefully I don't lose listeners over telling this story. What did you do to your congressman? I no no no. <laughs> okay. I didn't do it. I didn't even know who my congressman okay. was. And that was the point of this story because okay. I went on to a meeting with somebody in my networking group Mm -hmm. and she is a huge voter like big into like when it's voting season or vote what do you call it when it's voting time election time oh yeah election season like like she's like out of pocket because she is out there doing her thing whatever she does racking up votes yeah like she's shaking big. babies, kissing heads, whatever. <laughs> well, you know, she's volunteering and probably helping in the polls or yeah, whatever, yeah. right? So she's big into this and she's big into people should vote. Okay. They need to write their congressman for everything, right? So she's big into this. Okay. So she asked me in the middle of this meeting, which first of all, if it's a networking setting, like just don't go there. This is my public service announcement. <laughs> Like, I get that you're very passionate about that. And there's certain things I'm very passionate about, too. But she asked me, she said, oh, is so-and-so your congressman? I cannot wait to hear what you respond. I know what you responded. I already know what you said. Cannot wait to hear what she responded. Please continue. I was like, I'm not sure, to be honest with you. You should have seen her face. When I said I didn't know if that was my congressman, like I, I felt like I just needed to shrink <laughs> out and say, I'm so sorry, ma'am. I will just leave your presence immediately. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. <clears throat> oh, my gosh. What she happened? with this face. <laughs> and I was like, I will look it up right now. I, I literally started Googling who is my who congressman. Is my <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. So yes, I now that I know who my congressman is, I can write him a letter <laughs> about this. <laughs> All right, so we're finally going to solve some things. So first step taken care of, you know who to write. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Now I know. Yeah. Okay. And and we want what do we want? We want 1109. Is that really what you're going to is that the one you're going to fight, though? Well, first, I'm going to talk about the half cent. You okay. Know I was going to say, a, I feel like there's other more pressing. That, that is a huge bone <laughs> I have to pick, as you know, which, by the way, we still have to get to Washington to, to, to deal with that. Yeah. Yeah, we're exactly. We're going to do that. Yeah. So. Local congressman, though. Like, yeah. Let's start with him. Yeah. yeah okay. I like it. All okay. right. Now I know who he is. We can do that. <laughs> anyway, that was my side answer. I love it. I love it. That was good. All right. You ready for the last two? Mm -hmm. So these are where most of the confusion comes from. So almost all everybody is familiar with these ones, but they changed in 2020. Yep. So they they were the 1099 MISC, which is miscellaneous. 
Which used to be for pretty much anything. Yeah, like outside of those things we just named, right? Stocks, interest, dividends, whatever. Like if, if it wasn't that, it all went on the 1099 missile. And it was like that for a long time. I don't remember yeah. for how long. Yeah, it was a long but time. But for as long as I've been in this. So I know one box that's on that because I had a discussion with a client this last week that couldn't understand why he was getting a 1099 from mm-hmm. his own company. Okay. And the reason he's getting a 1099 from his own company is because there's a rent box on mm-hmm. that 1099 and he pays himself rent because the company is in a building that he owns. So nice. now yes. he's getting 1099 and he's mm-hmm. not too happy about mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. So I had to explain to him that was for rent. They did it the right way. Yeah. Yes. So that's one of the things that's on the 1099 miscellaneous. So um, there's, you know, a lot of things fall on there. So rent falls on there, obviously. Awards and prizes fall on there. Isn't that the yeah. one with the attorneys? Um, the attorneys, yeah. So, yeah. so the attorneys also receive a 1099 so miscellaneous. So it cracks me up how attorneys are in their own special category. It's like, okay, here's all the requirements for sending a 1099. But attorneys, like, you send it to them no matter what. If they're a corporation, you still send it. Like, no matter what, attorneys get their 1099. Well... Like, they really don't trust the attorneys. It, well, I was going to say that it's not even just 1099s. Attorneys have a lot of rules that are just for them. So, do you think that this group sitting around the wooden table petting their hairless cats, do you think they got jaded because they had a bad experience with attorneys? No, I think they are attorneys, which is why they know. <laughs> I mean, how many of our U.S. presidents have been attorneys? Like, a significant yeah. number of them. So they just so know. I think that they are attorneys. And so That's funny. <laughs> All right. So the attorneys sitting around the wooden table. The, the, uh, yeah, the attorneys sitting cat. around. And so, and, and so um, yeah, but payments to attorneys are go on the 1099 miscellaneous. Um, and like I said, so like you said, rents, um, even like Medicare and health care payments, which is one thing that I wanted to bring up. So as long as they were part of your course of business. Would go on a 1099 miscellaneous. So you make, when you say healthcare payments, you yeah. mean like for health insurance? Medical or and healthcare like payments. To a doctor, a provider. Uh, I would confirm with the CPA on that so for you sure. Don't have no idea. I don't know for sure. Yeah. What you're yeah, what I'm saying <laughs> is that I don't know for sure. Um, <laughs> because in my head, I'm thinking, <clears throat> what circumstances would there be for me to pay for my doctor's appointment from my business account and think of it as a business right. expense right but that seems weird but it's here it's the no it's the second thing listed on here so it must so come up. basically the first page that you googled mm-hmm. 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 okay yeah yeah just so, to be clear yeah miscellaneous <laughs> which we hope is correct yeah no this is correct this is legitimate sources sure yeah sure absolutely. okay we'll go with that yeah and then the last one is the new one and this is what is probably by far the most popular one and it's the 1099 NEC. Could have, could have guessed so, what that is. N- I, I, I know I've read it's this. It's an acronym. It's non employee compensation. Good. Yes. Oh, non employee yeah. compensation. Right. What's Boom. my prize? What do I get? Win for Lindsay. Uh, you get to hear the rest of what the 1099 <laughs> oh, NEC yay. is for. I was it. hoping you were going to say whiskey cake. <laughs> whiskey cake. I told you, as soon as you're done with your cleanse, I we are, like, I don't care where we go. Like, we could do a combination of, like, a burger and whiskey cakes. Like, whatever. Mooyah. Yeah. Mooyah. Mooyah. And, and then, then we'll go to whiskey cake. cake. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm down. Okay. We'll make an afternoon out of it. Perfect. Yeah. And margaritas. Yes. Yeah, I'll get my margaritas. Absolutely. Too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, it's the, gonna any- be the best afternoon ever. My <laughs> health coach will be going. <laughs> <sighs> She'll hopefully just be like she melting, never melting just like head yeah. exploding yeah, yeah hopefully she never listens yeah what watch us meet her there though like we'll bump into her like mid bite into this whiskey no, cake she makes her own food remember yeah. she perfectly <laughs> portions everything out into her little containers for the whole week so i wish i could be she, like that exactly i, I wish i had that she does not understand my struggle anyway yeah well so listen you, to our last episode together I'll listen to if the you last want context for this conversation <laughs> I, I have forgotten that it, it, in the viewers, for viewers and listeners, it's been at least a week since we talked about this. Yeah. For us, it's been 10 minutes. Yes. Because um, we were recording multiple episodes today. Yeah, exactly. And we tell this whole whiskey cake story, but that was a different episode. That was a different episode. So anyway. go back and listen to that because <laughs> that was probably one of our funniest episodes. You though, think so? On, together, I think so, so. You think that was the top one or just somewhere up in like the top five? I mean, as far as like overall for you as a whole, like maybe no, no, top no, no, five no. but for I'm, me and, and you me, yeah. i think it was top 
Really? I laughed a lot. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this is how you judge is how, how much you laugh? Yeah, I'm looking for entertainment. Okay. okay. Yeah, okay. like, it, it, I'm here for the <laughs> entertainment, and maybe I'll learn something about 1099. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I see. Yeah. I see. Yeah. All right. Yeah, no, exactly. Hey, I would feel very honored and... I feel like I would have arrived if someone was listening to this podcast for the entertainment value, because we're talking about accounting topics, bar and large, right? That's a fair point. And so if somebody's listening to this for the entertainment value, then we have definitely arrived. Okay. That's that's actually very true. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So email me yeah. at info at com and tell me if you listen to this podcast just for the entertainment value. Okay. I like this. I want to know the results of this this poll yeah. that you're taking right now. Yeah. Because I so will advertise it if somebody emails me. I will I will be. Yeah. You'll be all up. over it. Yes. Be like, yeah. And, and you need like one of those New York Times reviews, right? Like riveting. <laughs> Out of this world entertainment. Yes. Like, yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that we're quite up to that level. I mean, this isn't a Marvel like <laughs> superhero movie. But hey. Hey, but uh, but you gotta my have goals. most watched video right now, as of today, is the one with the M and M's. Oh, I'm not surprised. That was a delicious episode. So clearly the answer is <laughs> clearly the answer is bring food. <laughs> And I mean, I could live with that. Okay, that's a strategy I could stand by. And 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 the, the a couple of months before the month before you did chips. Oh yeah, we burned potato yeah, chips. So you had yeah, chips in did. here. Uh, and then you moved on to M and M. So what's next? That's a good question. Yeah, you got to find some foods you want to sure do. Burn. Like we should have figured out how to incorporate food into this ten ninety nine deal. I just don't think um, <laughs> for ten ninety. I just can't think of another way. Ten ninety nines are a boring subject, Lindsay. <laughs> Um, Except it, it's, when we talk about them. Yeah, but we talk about it often, but like, I feel like if you called me like tonight and you're like, hey, how's your day going? Like, how are you doing today? My first thing would not be, oh, <laughs> let me tell you about this 1099, right? Like, that's not at all what would happen. So um, I think it's a conversation that we have out of necessity, not yes, because it's fun. But we can turn it into an engaging and entertaining episode. And I'm going to stand by that. Riveting. Br- riveting. Yes. <laughs> riveting. <laughs> <laughs> Riveting. Anyway, sorry. It. Non-employee compensation. Non-employee compensation. So going back to what you said, six hundred dollars. So if you make five ninety nine, ninety nine or less, then you are not required to uh, receive or to give somebody. So a ten ninety nine. I'm not going to wrap them out, so I'm not going to give any names here. But I used to know a business owner that would offer people the option of taking the first five hundred and ninety five dollars of their pay. That's a 10.99, and then the rest they could get on their W two, which you can reference your episode from a few months ago to decide whether or not that's, that's even legal, yes. right? Because there's a difference between employees and 10.99 contractors, mm-hmm. and even even though you don't have to give them a 10.99, they still might not be a 10.99, yes, right? So, that is like, correct. yeah, there are rules. So yeah, reference there are that episode. Rules to yeah. what you can deem a contractor, but it's not uncommon practice. I mean, I know a lot of people who will start their employees off as 10.99s and then convert them if 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 they work out. If it's out, working so, yeah. out. So. Yes, but it just depends. you need to legally... There's rules, right? Yes. So, like, in, in a situation where, like, you're handing them projects and you're like, here's a project, get to work on this whenever you want, like, that's that's contractor. Yes. If it's, hey, you need to be here at 8 o'clock in the morning and I need to sit here and do right. this and your lunch is at noon and right. that's, yeah, that's probably different. not a contractor. That's so, different. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we're on the same so page. So, why did they create this special... These guys around the wooden table. Why did they decide these people can uh, yeah. no longer be on the 1099 MISC? Yeah. They have to be on a special one. You know what? Uh, pro- the, the reason probably comes down to the fact that uh, the 1099 NEC is, is by far, like, the most used 1099 is for that purpose, right? Non-employee compensation. And so they probably just wanted to separate that a little bit. Um, or just uh, or just irritate us. Yeah, I I'm was going, going with to that. say. Yeah. 
Same reason that they had to make it 55 and a yeah. half cents. No, the form is pretty simple, though. So if you look at a 1099 NEC compared to the miscellaneous, like, I think it's more simple. There's fewer boxes and, yes. like, almost all the boxes apply to what you're doing that for. Okay. Whereas before on the 1099 miscellaneous, you were like, you only, if you were getting paid for non-employee compensation, you only needed this box, this box, and this box out of, like, the 30 on there. So, okay. like, it, I think but it could still, simplify do it. Do we need a 1099 just for the substitute teacher? I don't think we like, need how? any. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, the substitute teachers are specifically being targeted, I feel like. Um, right, you're Congress. Obviously, <laughs> our teachers, specifically substitute teachers, are overcompensated. And so that's the problem with our country is that our teachers make too much. <laughs> that's that is definitely not, the root that's of not our problem. I was saying, Jeffrey. No, I, I was saying, do we need a whole form just no. for this? So you see how this just no. gets out of hand when you just create new forms just for specific well, they're things. Well, they're going to come out with a new one for attorneys. Then it's just <laughs> they probably the will. They probably will. <laughs> You're probably giving them the idea right now. They're yeah. sitting at their their wooden it, table, yeah. <laughs> petting their hairless cat, listening to this episode right now, going, "Oh, that is that brilliant. really." You know, I'm gonna get a call from them. They're gonna offer me a job. <laughs> They're gonna be like, "Hey, You're gonna you turn thought into one of, of these a guys? great way <laughs> to mess with people's day? <laughs> We'd like to offer you an opportunity. <laughs> How do you feel about Washington?" <laughs> And so you will become one of these people sitting around the wooden table. As long as they give me a hairless cat, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to have to buy my own, but if they provide it, oh let's goodness. do it. <laughs> <laughs> Those things are ugly. They're creepy. My mother bought one no! recently. Jeffrey. I don't want to. Uh, yeah. So uh, she it, she recently bought one. Says that she's al- always wanted one. I never heard they about this. They look like demons. Yeah. Well, it's like imagine waking up to that thing looking at you. <laughs> yeah. Like at night. Ah. Did this happen to you? No. No. I, I haven't met him yet. I have okay. not met him yet. Um, but I, I, I'm nightmares. already having cat na- cat mares, cat mares, yeah, <laughs> nightmares of cats um, with this cat because cats and I don't usually get along anyway. Really, there's a whole long history. I'm really? not going to go into that. Um, like I love cats, and if I see one on the side of the road, like I'm going to rescue it because it's an animal. But I will promptly you and I find it a place to live. Not be more opposite in this. Yeah. <laughs> I am not an animal person. I know, I know, I do. I have to. If and I see something struggling. We have already decided if I ever come to your house, your dog needs to be very far away from me. Just my, so we know. My dog and that. you are going to be best friends. You no, just don't know it that, yet. Uh, no. See, this <laughs> I'm is... I'm just kidding. This That's is what, how all dog owners this think, is how right? dog owners are. Yeah, they're this like, is, I'm going to... She'll like my dog. Yeah, my she'll dog. She'll like my is, dog. Yeah. My dog's different. Yes. No, he's not. Uh, no. He's the same. They're no. all the same. Now, you, I hope I don't lose listeners over this because I know there's a lot of dog lovers out there, but I do not enjoy your dog. I'm sorry. Don't take it personally, but your dog is no bit different or better than any other dog in my mind, and I don't want it all up in my business. So, you know, I agree with you. I don't like it when dogs are all up on you oh. when you go to, when you see them. It doesn't even have to be at their house, but like, you know. I need my personal space. I probably should not tell this story because there could be some parties involved that listen to this podcast. But I'm going to anyway. I'm excited for this. Um, you know, we have a, a local poker game that goes on mm. with several of the networking groups that um, I interact with. And the location recently moved. And I went for the first time a couple weeks ago. And I don't think I can go back there to play <laughs> poker. Because wouldn't you know it, it's at someone's house now, and he has two big dogs. Got it. And they are all up in my business yeah. the whole time. Yeah. And he's not saying anything about it or yeah. taking the hints by the fact that I am not looking nor touching his dog. So yeah. clearly, not a dog person, and they're still all up in my business all night. Did they gravitate you to you specifically? I, I think they're like waiting for me to pet them or something. I think that's hilarious, I actually. I don't want them touching me. Because they can drooling. tell that you don't want uh, them. Apparently, <laughs> they're like drooling on my pants. Like get <laughs> in your breath stinks. Yeah. Like get in the house. Smelled like dog. Yeah. Like as soon as you walk in, yeah. it's overwhelming. And I I think I'm just going to have to politely, you know, if you ask me to poker and I tell you um, that I need to wash my hair that night. 
that's the best excuse to keep coming up with. I don't know how we're I can wash your hair. I gotta wash my hair. Do I just say I'm I gotta, sorry? I gotta tutor my nephew in geometry. That's better, <laughs> right? I mean, come on. My grandma needs her ink cartridges replaced. I can sit here and go all night, Lindsay. Oh, I see how this. Okay, so when you give me an excuse, I'll be like, oh, sure, I think I've only Jeffrey. canceled on you one time. Sure, Jeffrey. And it was recently, too. Why did I cancel on you? Oh, because you weren't feeling well. No, and no, I no, no, go on no, a trip. no, you did not pin this on me. You canceled before the I'm not feeling well night. You canceled the first time. I canceled the second I time. Did? Oh, yes, I'm sorry. you did. I'm sorry. And now yeah. I know it was some made up lame excuse. No, well, my point of saying all of that is I think I've only canceled on you one time and it's not like a lame excuse. I cancel, I, I make up excuses and cancel for people for very similar reasons to what you were just talking about, right? Because I love animals. I just said, I rescue animals have my whole life. Like, okay. I am there for them. Okay. Um, what, so, like, my out of my top 10 pet peeves, Definitely five of them are involving mistrained dogs. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. So then you feel my pain a little I, bit. I definitely feel your pain. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I just, I'm not going to be able to do poker night anymore. Yeah. Yeah. It's well, just, I can't handle it. We'll just play poker at my house then. Like, okay. I know how to put my dog away. Oh, I was yeah. going to say, you have a dog too. So, no, yeah, but like my dog, she, she knows. Yeah. She, she knows doesn't not to get up in people's No, I are... put her away. She's fine with it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Good for you. Yeah. Now, what about the dog hair situation? Well, like? now, so I have to say that Dyson is a lifesaver. Like, I... So do you have to vacuum every day? No. Every week, just like a normal person. Okay, so vacuum. if I get to your house on day six... Oh, well, I would vacuum... vacuum if you were coming over that day. <laughs> yes, absolutely I would. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, yeah. So you That's just, the other thing I don't like is hair. See, and for me, like, I hate the hair. Like, I carry a lint roller with Do me you really? every... You, you see it right there. It's right that there. That's hilarious. in my bag. Yeah. I so, did not know this about you. I always carry a lint roller. I hate dog hair. Um, I hate dog drool. And this is worth it. What? My dog no, does... Well, my dog does shed, but she can't control that. See, I would look at all of these things and go, I don't think it's worth it. But you still look at that and say, I still want this dog. With my dog. With I don't want anyone dog. else's dog. Okay. I See, I just don't relate. Yeah. And I know probably all the dog lovers out there are cursing me out right now. They're probably unfollowing me. <laughs> but it's not that you hate dogs. You never once said you hate dogs. You say, I don't like the way dog owners let their dogs act. No, we have the same gripe. I'm trying to help you out here. Okay. We have the same gripe. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't even want to hang around the well-behaved dogs. I'm just not. A, I, I'll say this. It's not just dogs, even. I'm no, just yeah. not an animal person in general. But the dogs are the ones that I think particularly annoy me because they're always up in my business. The cats will ignore you, right? Like exactly. you walk into the house, the cat goes, who yeah. are you? And goes the yeah, other direction. Exactly. Like, I can tolerate cats because yeah. we can just avoid each other. And yeah. we're both like they, good. they want to see you less than you want to see them. Perfect. So it's a great it's relationship. A great relationship. Yeah. Exactly. I can see that. Yeah, I see the difference. Yeah. Because dogs so, don't care. Like, you're yeah. avoiding them, and they go, oh, <laughs> I need to try harder now with this, <laughs> with Lindsay here, because she doesn't want to talk to me. So now <sighs> that's all I care about. So, yeah. So somehow I have to, maybe I could bring, like, a glove or something, just pet and throw the glove away. <laughs> <laughs> just so they'll leave me alone. <laughs> Is that the key? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I Honestly. think I might have lost a deal. Really? Like, this is how much I do not want to pet your dog. I'll even risk losing a deal over it. Because I was going to buy a bookkeeping business. Which, mm -hmm. by the way, if anyone's in the market for selling their bookkeeping business, give me a call. Okay. Um, Yeah. She had 260 clients. Mm -hmm. And I was going to purchase her company. I went to her house so we could talk details. And wouldn't you know, she, had a dog. she has dogs. She had more than one dog. Dogs that I did not want to touch. Didn't even want to act like I wanted to touch them. And this is what really frustrates me, though, is the dog owners that think that you really love their dog, right? Just because you're a human, and why wouldn't you? Because why wouldn't everybody love right? dogs, but, right? Yeah. So her husband picks up one of the dogs and, like, carries oh, it Oh, no. Me. They did so, the face-to-face -face with yes. the dog? Yes. 
And he's holding it there in this just awkward exchange where I'm like, I'm not going to touch your dog, but I really want you to go away. <laughs> and so I'm just sitting there like, okay, I guess I'm supposed to talk to the dog. <laughs> so I'm like, hi there. And I'm making small talk to this dog. Yes. Yeah. But I'm not touching it. Yeah. Sticking to my guns on that one. Yeah. But during the whole conversation that I had with this lady after that, this dog kept coming in, kept trying to like nip at my feet. She could tell I was not, I was not interacting with the dog and she kept like trying to shoo it away. I think that might've hurt me. Cause the like, dog thing. after that, she decided she was not ready to sell her company. Kind of fizzled out. Yeah. And I was like, you just, you're one of those people that are like, if my dog doesn't like you, I don't trust you. Like, she's probably one of those people. And I'm like, I should have acted like I liked the dogs, because that probably would have made all the difference. But lesson learned, the meeting place is not at their house. Yeah, or, or preferably at a restaurant that doesn't even accept dogs. Yes, Yeah, exactly. so like, you're going to have to so plan this out better next mistake. time. that was my mistake. We should have met at a public restaurant, mm -hmm. and then there would be zero risk of be having to interact with their uh -huh. dog. Yeah, so now you know not to go now to people's houses because they have dogs. Yeah. There you go. Okay. All right. So I like it. You guys are learning about me. I've it's kept this secret in the closet. I don't think you should keep that secret anymore. I, I think we should come out okay. against misbehaved right. dogs. Like you, <laughs> you're a little bit more like you, you really would prefer them not to be around. But I think as in general, there would probably be fewer people like you, know you if more people train their dogs. Okay. As long as I'm not having to deal with the dog, I can admire it from a distance. Okay. Yeah. So there we go. Yeah. As long exactly. as the hair is not on me, the drool is not on me, and I'm not smelling it, and I admire it from a distance, then I'm okay with the And then the you dog. can move on <laughs> with your clean, non drooled on clothes yes. with no hair on them. Yes. And, uh, and you can move on with your day. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I love it. I How love did it. We get on this tangent? It, it, I don't even I have know. I no idea. It was, it's phenomenal, though. So <laughs> either way. It is remarkable how off topic that you and I can get. I have no idea how we went from 1099s to talking about dogs, but here we are. I don't even remember either, but so, that's how it works for us. Did you have us. anything else to add? <laughs> no, to I mean, so 1099s are super boring. That's really <laughs> it. Um, now, if you're a... No, I mean, really. So there, there's eight different forms. Um, it's pretty mm -hmm. easy to see which form belongs for what, right? Like, the, the language is pretty clear. Um, so if you're a business owner, specifically if it's anything other than the NIC, I um, mean, sorry, NEC and the miscellaneous, like if you're in any of the industries where you need to give away the other ones, like you're probably going to be getting some more, like if you're a broker yeah. or do securities exchanges and stuff, like there's a class that tells you what to do. Um, so you'll know if you need to do those. And then outside of that, like if you're paying anybody anything that doesn't fall in those, those categories that you said, right? Corporation, C Corp, I mean, um, or S Corp. S -corp. Uh, and then obviously the um, credit card and merchant services, again, touch base with them just in case, but they do are required to send a form. Um, I think it's the miscellaneous form, actually, is what they have to send is to. It? Yeah, yeah. I thought there was a special there, one. There might be. I think there's one not on your list, like a 1099K maybe. Really? Yeah, I think that's right. the one that the merchant companies have to and send. And maybe that one's so specific that they don't put it on there because avid business owners don't use them. Substitute yeah. teachers. Yeah, what can I say? exactly. <gasps> Subjects and teachers. Yeah, exactly. Um, but then so outside of that, like if you if you're paying somebody or a company that's not a C corp or an S corp money, like look into it. You probably might owe them a 1099 by January 31st. Yes, that is the deadline. And I'll give another tip. This is my PSA. Most important thing: if you take nothing else out of this episode before you pay any vendor oh. or contractor. Yeah. Get a W-9 from them yeah. before you pay them. Because yep. after you pay them, they are much less incentivized to give that form to you. And basically what you're after is their tax ID number, or if they don't have a tax ID number, you're after their social. Yep. That's the number you have to put on the 1099 yep. to send to the IRS. The IRS gets a copy, which means so. if you receive a 1099 and think mm -hmm. that you can just file it and that's fine, that's not fine. The IRS already well, has a copy of it. You can file it, but you also got to claim the yeah, I mean, you have to claim it, yeah. And and you can just, you, you, people try to ignore them. Mm -hmm. That's not how it works. You'll, yeah. you'll get you'll get a letter, yeah. a nice little tap on the shoulder from yeah. the guys at the table saying, hey, <laughs> you owe me money. <laughs> Pay up. Yes. Yeah. So I have seen it time and time again because here we are in January. Now, 
my staff, I have coached that every month, it's part of our process, one of our checklist items is to scout for anything that might need a 1099 at the end of the year. Got it. So that we can start hounding for that W-9 right then. Yeah. Um, but more times than not, if that contractor or vendor has already been paid, they're not very incentivized to provide you with their tax ID number or their social. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so get it in advance because before they've been paid, that's when they're going to be the most incentivized to give that information to you. Trade them their check for the yes. W-9. Yes, yeah. exactly. So on the corporation thing, mm. if you're not sure, cause I have people that will like, Think that they think I'm wrong, and they'll use examples like, "Oh, so am I supposed to send Home Depot a 1099?" <clears throat> yeah, like no, because that's a corporation. Yep. Any publicly traded company is required to be a corporation. Yep. So if they're on the if they have stocks on the public stock exchange of Wall Street, you do not have to send them a 1099 because mm-hmm. you know they're a corporation. Mm-hmm. So any corporations, unless they're attorneys, mm-hmm. you don't have to send the 1099. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That was my soapbox. I love it. All right. How can people reach you? Uh, Best way to reach me is by calling me at 214-551-4650 or by emailing me at jgonzalez, that's G-O-N-Z-A-L-E-S, at payentry.com. And I'm Lindsay Klein with Sakline, honest, accurate bookkeeping performed on time. You can find us at sakline.com, S-A-K-L-I-N-E.com. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Until next time, have a great week, everyone. By the Books is presented by Sakline, honest, accurate bookkeeping performed on time. For more information on Sakline services or to get a hold of Lindsay, visit sakline.com or email info at sakline.com. The information provided on this website and podcast does not and is not intended to constitute legal advice. Instead, all information, content, and materials available are for general information purposes only. Information provided by Sakline may not constitute the most up-to-date legal or other information. Listeners should contact their attorney to obtain advice with respect to any particular legal matter and should refrain from acting on the basis of this information without first seeking legal advice from counsel in the relevant jurisdiction. Only your individual attorney can provide assurances that the information contained herein and your interpretation of it is applicable or appropriate to your particular situation.